Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I have here a microcontroller that is AT Mega 328P. Now, in this video, I will be showing you how you can burn bootloader into this microcontroller. Now, obviously, I bought this without the uh, bootloader because I couldn't find uh, any of these uh, bootloaded chips in stock. So I have to go with the microcontrollers which are without the bootloader. And uh, I think these are a little bit cheaper than, than those with the bootloader. Now, I want this microcontroller for my ongoing project on a digital clock which uh, i'm working on so in order to uh, use in this clock i will need a microcontroller and in this case i will be using one of these microcontrollers now uh, for that reason i will have to first burn the bootloader now why do i need to have a bootloader and the reason is that in order to use with the arduino code or arduino IDE using one of these UART programmers I need to have bootloader inside this chip without Arduino bootloader these UART programmers like this FTDI or if you have that PL2102 uh, uh, like that if you have any of these UART programmers it won't work so in order to work these we need to have the Arduino bootloader inside this chip so without taking much time let's start our video so in order to burn bootloader we need to have one of these arduinos so either we can uh, use one of these arduino nano or uh, we can use uh, one of these uh, arduino uno now this one is a diy version of arduino uno but uh, this will work fine this microcontroller has the bootloader already burnt into it so this will just behave as uh, arduino uno in this video i will be using this nano to uh, flash the bootloader into this new microcontroller obviously you can use one of these or you can uh, use the proper arduino uno if you have that if you have the mega that also will work fine so actually you need one of the arduino boards to actually begin burning bootloader into one of these chip now if you don't have one of the arduinos obviously you can go with the programmers like uh, usb asp or uh, many such isp programmers so without wasting much time let's uh, start wiring up the uh, programmer so for wiring i will need a breadboard and i will need a crystal of 16 megahertz then i will need two 18 picofarad capacitors one 10 kilo ohm resistor and a few jumper wires so these are the requirements for burning bootloader into the chip so in order to burn the bootloader we need to make the circuit as per the circuit diagram so now i have made all the connections as per the circuit diagram so here as you can see i have connected the uh, pin 10 to pin 13 of this arduino nano with the 80 mega 328p chip and i have connected additionally a led to pin 9 of this 80 mega 328p so that after burning a bootloader i can flash a blink led program to test whether it's working fine or not so now it's time to connect the arduino nano to my pc using the usb cable so So as you can see now this uh, arduino nano is running the basic uh, blink led code in order to burn bootloader first we have to 
program this Arduino Nano as a ISP programmer. So for that we have already a code that is Arduino ISP code that we can find inside the examples. So here you can see Arduino ISP and this code we need to uh, program inside our Arduino Nano. So everything is just explained here to make the connections and all that. So you can go through that. Now, and the beauty of this code is that you don't have to change anything. We just need to set the board that we are going to program. So in this case, I will be programming first the Arduino Nano. So I have selected Nano with 80 mega 328p chip. We have selected the COM port. The correct COM port is COM4, which is already selected. And uh, we can uh, leave this programmer option as it is. We don't need this for this now, for the time being. Now we will have to uh, click on upload. And see now it's blinking and upload successfully. Now the next step is to uh, burn bootloader into our new microcontroller chip. At first I want to test whether I have made all the connections correct or not and also I want to check the new microcontroller is working properly or not, is it ok or not and most importantly we need to check the fuse bits of this new microcontroller because in order to burn the Arduino bootloader the fuse bits of this microcontroller must be set correctly and uh, it must be set to uh, run with the external 16 megahertz crystal now we can check this with a very simple step in order to check whether the chip is working fine or not you can uh, visit my website here i have explained every details on uh, how you can set the fuse bits correctly and uh, you can check whether your chip is working fine or not so here i have explained each and every bit to uh, set the fuses which fuse works for uh, which type of function you can go through that and uh, I have also uh, suggested what is the uh, normal fuse bits values and obviously I have explained the connections here also so you can go through this uh, from my website I will put a link in the description now from this website I have also explained the commands that we need to check into the uh, command line so now I will just open command so here I am in the command window so here I have to type a simple line of code to see whether the new microcontroller is working fine or not now here I have to change the COM port to COM4 obviously uh, it is in COM4 and then I will hit enter and now it has read and given a lot of data so here we can see the uh, low fuse settings the high fuse settings the extended fuse settings now the low fuse is set to 62 in hex now for uh, the microcontroller to work with the 16 megahertz crystal and the arduino bootloader to work properly we need to have the low fuse settings to e2 as you can see here in from my website the low fuse settings is e2 now we need to change the fuse also in this microcontroller so i will just uh, scroll down here and uh, here i have another line of code that will set the fuse bits so i will just copy the line of code and then i will make changes so here i have copied and i will just paste it here now obviously we need to uh, change the low fuse so it is set to low fuse l fuse and uh, here also i need to modify the com port to com4 and then i will just hit enter and 
it's written properly the low fuse has been changed now if i just uh, use the previous command to read once again so here you can see now it is reading e2 the low fuse reads e2 obviously high fuse was already set to d9 and uh, e fuse has nothing to do with the uh, arduino boot loader so we are not uh, changing anything so everything if everything goes fine you will get a window like this where you will get uh, the instructions and the data of your microcontroller you can go through each of these in details it just gives the uh, details of the microcontroller so now that i have already uh, changed the fuse bits it's time to uh, burn the bootloader so for burning the bootloader these steps are pretty simple we need to just click on burn bootloader button now before that we need to select the board that we want to burn the bootloader so in this chip we want to burn the arduino uno bootloader so i will just select arduino uno in com4 arduino as isp now in this step it is mandatory to select arduino as isp and then i will just click on burn bootloader now see there is a slight blinking in the leds and after that it has burned bootloader now in order to test the new chip i have now connected the ftdi module and i hope now it will uh, program the microcontroller using the uart so i have connected this led to pin 9 and uh, i have written a simple code so let's click upload now if you don't know how to uh, connect this ftdi module with the uh, microcontroller i uh, have a, another video on this topic so here in the card you can see the video link so you can go and watch that video now i will just uh, click on upload to see whether it's uploading or not So now after done uploading we can see the green led is flashing so that indicates that our uh, bootloader has been successfully burnt into the microcontroller and uh, obviously i forgot to show you the uh, settings here i have to select the arduino uno because we have uploaded the arduino uno bootloader we have to select the com port so the ftdi is in com3 and uh, the programmer is avr isp so these are the settings and uh, next is obviously to click on upload so that's all for this video if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel i will be posting uh, more videos and uh, most probably my next video will be on the digital clock that i am working on so my plan is to use this microcontroller into this board for the uh, arduino digital clock so please subscribe to this channel and i will see you in my next video